everyone guys we have this question right here it's asking choose course elimination method to reduce the matrix a to an upper triangular matrix and the second one is asking use the result part a to compute the determinant of a so first of all we have to know what is upper triangular so in order to have upper triangular we have to have whatever the value below, below diagonal should be equal to zero so in order to do that i have to go elimination method so let's see how we can solve this so first of all i am copying this matrix down it's going to be 3 minus 2 5 6 minus 4 7 and 5 minus 4 6 this is my matrix then to make uh, bring this one into Gauss uh, equation I can uh, if I swap this one it's easy because if I swap this one and deduct from the third one I, I can directly get the simplest form so first of all let's do this so I'm gonna swap this uh, R2 with R1 R2 swapped with R1 so if I swap this I will get 6 minus 4 7 and this is going to be 3 minus 2 5 the last one is 5 minus 4 6 so this is the one I got then what I have to do is I have to multiply the third equation by negative negative 1 and add it with the first equation so I will get the simplest form if I do that it's going to be negative R3 plus R1 which is going to be 1 and if you multiply this one by negative it's going to be positive 4 positive 4 plus negative 4 is going to be 0 then we have negative 6 plus 7 is going to be 1 then the others are going to remain the same 3 minus 2 5 5 minus 4 6 that's all we have <coughs> then we have to bring the bottom values to 0 to make it a 0 that I can simply multiply the first equation by negative 3 and add it to the second equation and I can also multiply the first equation by negative 5 and add it to the third equation so if I do that it's going to be 1 0 1 negative <laughs> negative 3 r1 plus r2 r2 this is going to be 0 then this is going to be 0 plus minus 2 is going to be minus 2 then this is going to be minus 3 plus 5 is going to be 2 right then for the final one minus 5 r1 plus r3 <coughs> so minus 5 plus 5 is going to be 0 then we have 0 plus minus 4 is going to be minus 4 then the final it's going to be minus 5 plus 6 is going to be 1 then to make this uh, last one into 0 I can multiply the second equation by negative 2 and add it with the third equation so if I do that it's going to be 1 0 1 0 0 negative 2 2 then I have to multiply this one by negative 2 is going to be negative 2 r2 plus r3 which is going to be equal to 0 0 and this is going to be negative 2 times 2 is going to be positive 4 positive negative 2 times 2 is going to be negative 4 negative 4 plus 1 is going to be negative 3 so these are now we have brought this one into upper triangular form now to find the determinant so the second question is a determinant right so this is the first question we have done the first question so we have brought this one into upper triangular form and the second question is asking use your result in part a to compute the determinant of a so first of all we have to remember we have swapped it once so whenever we swap it once the sign is going to change for, for example if i swap the uh, co row once one once it's going to be changing into negative time a negative sign then if I swap it, swap it again it's gonna become positive if like it depends on how many times swap if you swap by odd numbers it's gonna be negative if, uh, if you swap it by even numbers it's gonna be positive since we have swapped this one once it's gonna be negative therefore I have to find uh, I have to name this one as a negative determinant of A and then to find the determinant there's a common rule like for whatever, whenever you find a upper triangular form the multiplication of the diagonal is going to give you the determinant in this case we have negative determinant a so if I simply multiply the diagonals I will get the determinant so let's multiply and find the value so 1 minus 2 1 times minus 2 times minus 3 which is going to give me plus 6 since we have this is equal to det negative determinant of a so the positive determinant is a is going to be equal to minus 6 so this is my final answer I hope you guys like this video see you next time